Hello Power Rangers fans and welcome back to Togu Topics. Uh, today I am still here at the Airbnb filming location for my student thesis film. Uh, it's still not the best filming location with lighting or sound or anything. There's a bunch of birds right outside this window so it's uh, gonna be interesting to see how this goes. But when we were going out to get props and stuff like that uh, for the film, kind of getting ready a couple of days ago, I picked up this thing. So. You can see it in the Party City bag here. You've probably seen it maybe at some point on Twitter or something like that. Uh, but basically there is the replica Dino Fury Chroma Fury Saber or the Russo Ken from Rue Soldier, which they even call it such on the Party City website, which is very, very interesting to me. Uh, but basically this goes along with the kids Dino Fury red costume uh, that you can also get at Party City. And I saw that there and everything like that. And with Halloween only a couple of weeks around the corner here, this is a really good thing to get for kids' costumes, but of course, it's also just a fun little, not prop replica, but fun little kind of piece for Power Rangers fans to get. And I've been seeing a lot of people doing that on Twitter and everything like that. I do want to give a shout out to, I believe it was Ranger Liz who first like made the fandom aware of this item a couple of weeks ago. Uh, she tweeted out the link and everything like that. And uh, yeah, you can get it online and there'll be a link to it in the description below. But I bought it in store and I was able to find one. Uh, there was a couple there like three or four maybe, and they were. So as I was saying, there was like three or four of them at the store and they all had varying degrees of decent paint applications to them. And even this one is it's certainly not the best. Uh, but I believe off of the website, it says that this is like 29 inches long or something like that, uh, which I know there was comparisons already done with like the deluxe Hasbro Chroma Fury Saber toy that they released. And of course the biggest comparison are kind of the more sort of not equal comparison but like in terms of like size would be the memorial edition russell ken from Rue soldier from premium bandai uh because that's kind of obviously that's significantly more fancier that one could actually like take russell's and do the chomping stuff with the mouth and was just like a prop replica and this is a halloween costume idea or toy so you know it's fun so it's an officially licensed by hasbro product uh there is a hasbro logo on the back of this thing um, so just says one piece there, it has Dino Fury Red right there, the Power Rangers logo, and it's just kind of strapped in here, and there it is. So I'm, I think this is really sweet though, I really do like this quite a bit. Um, so as we can kind of just see it here in the package, you get the nice design there, you get the whole like T-Rex mouth or whatever. It almost feels like, because the handle is like, kind of like a separate piece, so it almost kind of feels like it wants to do the chomping. It absolutely can't, there's no mechanism in there. And then there's like a big red paint like application right there on the button. That makes it like look like maybe it'd be something to like click for lights or sounds or something like that which it is on the deluxe hasbro version the chroma fairy version like the the main toy line one uh, but this is uh, not going to do that so uh, but i'm going to go ahead and also here on the back here's the barcode for it if that's important to anybody uh, but like i said earlier or i think i did there will be a link to this on the party city website in the description below if you want to pick one up either for your kid's costume or like a lot of fans are doing for themselves uh, which now makes me think about the fact that so many party cities are going to have Zato costumes, but no props, uh, no swords, because all the fans are buying them up. So that's, that's kind of funny. Hmm. But there it is. PowerRangers.com and officially licensed by Hasbro. So this thing is legit. And I also do kind of, I mean, it's very blank white cardboard. I'm literally just talking about blank white cardboard at this point. Uh, but I do like the Power Rangers logo there, the Dino Fury logo, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have any other version of this Saber. I don't have a Russo Ken Deluxe one, Memorial Edition one, Chroma Fury version. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. Just cut the little zip ties and uh, kind of play around with this thing. Okay, so... I don't know why I had to do like a dramatic walk-in entrance, but here it is. Here is the Chroma Fury Saber or Russo Ken from Party City. I like it a lot. It's dumb. It's very cheap, obviously. It's, you know, there's nothing to it in weight or anything like that. But, like, of course, it is a child's Halloween prop. Um, the blade, obviously, is not fully show accurate. It could, of course, be a longer blade, but, like, come on. It's a, it's a bigger blade uh, than the Russo Ken had. It's a bigger blade than the Hasbro Chroma Fury Saber had. 
Uh, but it's I don't think it's as long as the Rizal Ken uh, Memorial Edition version. Uh, but I really do like this, honestly. Like, it's a nice little fun little prop thing. Or just kind of uh, like a nice thing to just have for the background of videos or something. Or just also have, you know, being a Dino Fury fan. And, you know, I'm definitely in a big Dino Fury mood with, you know, the ending of Season 2 on Netflix a couple weeks ago. And the announcement of Cosmic Fury and all that kind of stuff. I'm definitely kind of in the mood to be having Dino Fury stuff and talking about Dino Fury things. And uh, this is a pretty nice version. I mean, $17, is that a little expensive for what it is? Maybe, I think, I'm trying to think of what Hasbro's Chroma Fury one, like the deluxe toy cost, um, which is like, you know, a lot of what I'm comparing it to, because it's like the only Dino Fury branded versions of this that you can buy necessarily. There's also kind of like um, that dagger version of this thing in that training set. Um, so I know a lot of people have also been buying two of these, um, so they can paint one of them into the Chroma Fury Saber that Void Knight has, which... I prefer that version of it because it's purple and it has like the, the black and everything, or it has black here, but like the purple, everything is silver, looks beautiful on the Guy Soul Ken. Um, so, but I think also the Guy Soul Ken has a little bit different design uh, with these parts here, these little, whatever the little spikes are supposed to be. So, um, you know, there's that to consider. Obviously on the back, there's a ton of screw holes here. We'll kind of just get a closer look of it. So you can see all of these screw holes and everything on there. I know the lighting isn't the best in here, but we're just kind of working with what I got. Uh, the paint applications, especially on the handle, which maybe if I kind of angle it in the light a little bit better, are like not great, <laughs> like whatsoever. Um, so also headroom in this video is probably gonna be all over the place because I keep like getting in closer and then moving back away, and everything like that. So, but you know, like having a nice size here, trying to do like pretending you're doing the chomping feature, you can kind of just pretend that you're doing it. But, you know, swinging it around, like, it's fun. So, <laughs> I really do like it. You know, it's there's, like, no weight to it. So, you can might make, like, a holster for it or something. Swing it around. So, I hope, please, everybody take this and put it on Twitter and just goof around with it. Because, like, <laughs> it's just a lot of fun to just kind of have an eye. Ah, I just hit myself in the head with the handle. So, don't do that. Um, but, like, obviously, it doesn't look like the absolute most show-accurate design with this component of it. Because... I don't really know exactly what's off about it. Maybe it's because it doesn't have the chomping mechanism, but it just something about this design doesn't look perfect. It's also like a two-toned yellow. Like you can kind of see, you can actually kind of see that if the camera on the MacBook is anything to, to say. It's like a weird yellow and like an orange. But I mean, I'm just really nitpicking. It's honestly, it's really good for like what it is. It's perfectly acceptable. And of course, if you want to paint it up a little bit better, kind of clean it up. Like a lot of them in the store, the red paint on here was applied absolutely terribly. And this was like the best one of it that I could see. Um, so, you know, if you want to kind of clean it up, kind of want to repaint it, repaint it into a guy soul can or something like that, maybe add like a metallic silver sheen to this. I think you got something pretty good. It's really good for cosplay purposes. That's one thing I should have mentioned earlier. I mean, I figured that was kind of, you know, to be assumed with it being a Halloween costume prop and everything like that. But I think that if you just had like had a full on ranger suit and like you had a holster for it, just kind of slid in there or whatever. I think you'd have something uh, pretty good here. So I quite enjoy this and I can certainly recommend it. Uh, it's a fun little component because I was never going to buy the Chroma Fury Saber Hasbro toy. Uh, the Memorial Edition Rusal Ken not, never was really tempting for me. The Guy Soul Ken was more tempting for me. Um, but this is uh, going to be it. This is going to be my Chroma Fury uh, representation for Rusal Soldier and Dino Fury. And I doubt we'll see these in Cosmic Fury. Uh, I think probably not because it looks like they're getting new weapons and everything on that concept art with green and gold. So uh, we'll have to wait and see on there. And then uh, yeah, right there, which I know you're not going to be able to read it at all, but right there is copyright SCG Power Rangers PR and Hasbro. So uh, and then here once again is the little cardboard thing with it. So it's kind of depending on if you get it in stores, because you can do like pickup at Party City. Uh, if it's available in your area, you might even be able to ship it from Party City's website. Um, but I found this next to the Red Ranger costume in like the kids section. Um, but I've seen some people, they have it hanging up uh, like with the hook on the actual like shelving uh, components or stuff like that in the aisles. So just, you know, ask around if you have to have somebody get them out of the back, because I know sometimes the like in stock on the website has been a little inaccurate. Uh, just be respectful to any employees you ask to help you find this thing, but I definitely can recommend it, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching this video on the Party City Chroma Fury Saber Rusalkin Sword, which is still so strange that they actually called it that on the Party City website, from Power Rangers Dino Fury. So 
that's all I got with it. So a huge thanks to the fandom for posting this constantly on Twitter and making me feel like I was uh, not, you know, I felt, you know, if, it's like the cool thing to own right now is the Party City Real Silk and uh, Chroma Fury Saber. So now I'm now I'm all hip. I got it. So I'm part of the club. So yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching. And until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Living Ranger Key or Atlantic PR. I'll see you all later.